Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna work with here is if you are interested in doing the producer credits at the bottom of the movies, of your movie poster, um, then we need to upload a font onto your Photoshop, and we can do that from the Creative Cloud app. So if you don't have the Creative Cloud app, you'll download it, you'll sign in with your Creative Cloud um, uh, email, your STX Tigers email, and your password, whatever it was, just like you do to get into your Photoshop. All right, and then now we're gonna go, um, there are three different, um, uh, menu items down here at the bottom that might cause you some interest. There's tutorials. Um, we haven't saved anything into the cloud per se ourselves. Fonts and then different apps, okay, sponsored by them. So let's go back to the fonts and we want to pull all the way down, make sure the whole, the whole listing is at the bottom and we're in the tab here at the top that says browse Adobe fonts. Right underneath that, you can see the word filter the fonts. So we could filter and search for a specific font or a different font size or type. Well, what we're looking for um, is this one particular one called Origin Super Condensed Bold. Um, I've tried searching for it specifically, and for some reason it doesn't come up as easily. But here's what I ended up doing. We want it to be a sand serif lettering style, means it doesn't have any frilly flips on the ends of it. I'm gonna click on the very close together uh, lettering here, which means it's a condensed letter. It feels pulled tall, and it's, it's really close side by side. It was one of our words of the day. All right, and I think that's all we need to put in there. We're gonna hit done. And once we've done that, then we're gonna scroll until we see our desired font style, which was the Origin Super Condensed. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll here. That's lots of S's. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting closer. I can see it was at the end of the alphabet and we're working toward the, toward the middle here. And O P O P I guess that origin origin there it is origin super condensed okay and when you click on it it will show you an overview it'll show you what this lettering style looks like bigger or smaller you can even um, use this little edit tool at the bottom and if you wanted to see what it looks like um, with, whoops, if I could spell my name right, um, what it looks like with a specific um, name or lettering style. Kind of helps you see what your letters are gonna look like um, when you do that. And over on this left-hand side, some fonts will have varieties, okay, of what they look like, some light, ultralight, slanted, italic, um, light backslant, regular, regular backslant. I want you to click on this one right here that says that it's bold, okay? Mine is already clicked and selected, but as soon as you click on it, it will tell you that it has been loaded into your Photoshop. Awesome, see the little plus signs and all these other ones? So you click on the little plus sign and it will put it into your Photoshop for you. Okay, now back to Photoshop. Okay, so once we're in Photoshop, I'm gonna use the type tool here to click somewhere onto my, uh, into my big space. We'll say this is the bottom of, of, my, um, of my movie poster, okay? Um, and what I need to do is, oh, look, there it is, and it will show up, Origin Super Condensed will show up alphabetically. Notice how it's with the O's, all right? When you scroll further, oops, you can see that we can change the font size by um, dragging or by typing something in, okay? I'm gonna set this just for something crazy here so we can see it to 48, okay. Um, then we're gonna scroll down a little bit further and see how we can control the color, right? Um, with most of the movie titles um, and the 
uh, producer box information down at the bottom where we put the, the title, the actors, and all that stuff. Um, we want it to be white up against something dark or dark up against something light. So many times they will use black versus white or white versus black or even sometimes some grays um, because we want it to be able to be seen and not get lost in busyness. Scroll a little bit further and you'll see that I can make this either a paragraph looking or centered or um, a right justified. We want this to be centered. Most of these are centered in some way, uh, line after line on each other, okay? Now, as to what the heck you're gonna do or write, that's where the PDF that I have for you guys comes into play. Um, this PDF that, that I have um, provided for you shows you on the little last little slide here um, at the top what you're going to write. So come up with a studio name, okay? And notice that the, the lettering on, on the studio name, the movie title, and all the proper names of the actors, they're taller than the words that explain them, presents, starring, casting, written by, and they're smaller. They're all capitals. They're just a smaller point size. So, examples. Okay, so say we say something like, let me come over here, let me get rid of this part here, and we will capitalize S, T, X, and then we'll do studios. Okay, and that's bigger right now. I have that set as um, 48 point, right? Okay, so now I'm going to maybe change that to something different, 30, or something smaller, because this needs to be presents. Ah, see how it's smaller? All right, and then whatever our movie title is, I'm gonna go back to 48 points. And we'll go back to, um, take a break there. Um, senior moments, 2020, that there's our movie title, okay? Say we can't fit everything on that line and we need to go to the next line, right? Okay, and we need to say like starring with or starring as, okay. So we're back to here, all right, and then we have starring, and then I need to go bigger for my name, or whoever's name is gonna be, okay. We'll put Miss Martin's name in. Okay, now, what you're noticing right now is there's a really big gap between the first line and the second line of information. And if we go back over here and look at the actual ones, look how cozy and close the lines seem to be. Hmm. So we need to get the lines closer together, okay? So we've got different things that we can kind of do here. Let's see if we can play with um, getting these guys a little, whoops, getting these guys stuck. A little bit closer together. Let me, uh, in my help if I highlight them. Come on. There we go. Oh, leading gets really big. Okay, I can move this slider around. Look at that. And get those guys pretty darn cozy by using the le letting button. Sorry, I shouldn't have said leading. It's called letting. Um, and so the letting offers a, a change in between your two lines of text to get them cozier, to get them closer. All righty. So once you're all done, you would look something like this, okay, with your studio name, whatever it's going to be, uh, movie title and quotes, starring your actor names, like whoever you envisioned to play your lead roles. Um, casting by and music by, those are things that you can choose, like casting by, you can choose a family name or a friend for either one of those. Written by is you, produced by is you, and directed by is me, okay? Um, and again, that goes at the bottom of your movie poster.